Hey guys, as part of this STL video, we will see some of the improvements in HTL which can be tried out in AEM 6.5. There are some HTL improvements now. The first one is an in operator which can be used with strings, arrays and objects. Usage is shown below. For example, the character C in string ABC. Same way we can do in for arrays and objects too. I'll show a demo later part of this video. We can do variable declaration with the data slice set. The usage is shown below. A new change is here to help during list iteration. We can add begin, step and end parameters to control the list iteration. As shown below, while iterating, we can add at begin and add additional parameters. Data slide unwrap improvements. Now we can use identifiers with the data slide unwrap. I'll give a demo on this now. Finally, HTL supports negative numbers. Don't forget to use them whenever required. Let us see some of the HTL improvements in real now. I am in HTL read eval print loop tool, which is a playground for trying out HTL code. I had explained it in my previous videos. So here left hand side, you can see the template.html. And we have a logic.js through which we are feeding some of the arrays and objects. The logic.js is getting called in HTML, template.html. And right hand side, we have the output.html, which is in the HTML form. We have a view option to see the data in real. In logic.js, I have mentioned the content paths displayed. In template.html, I retrieve them some, some of the values through HTL code. Say I have a title, current page.title. So here you can see that page title is getting printed. And I have a data slide list. Here I invoke the logic.js and the current page dot list children. And I will iterate and print the title here. You can see that I have the description of the page and the path specified I'll be iterating and printing the guys here. Let us try the in operator first now. Let me add the in operator. So I have added a line character a in logic dot my string. So if you see the my string, I have a string a b c d. So when I check a condition with character a in my string, so it prints me the result true. So we'll try out with B. We have responses true. Let me try out something which is not there. So I'll try for the F. You can see that it has given false. Now let me add array. So I have an array with values 10, 100, and 1000. So when I add a condition 10 in logic.my array, I get the responses true. So if I change it to something like uh, 101, it gives me the responses false. Now let me add a condition for the object. So here you can see that I have my object with keys A, B and its values hello world. Here when I test A in logic.my object, it returns true. Remember the condition is for the keys, not for the objects. So if I tell hello, I'll be getting the response as false. Next improvement in HTL was the list control improvement. So let me add a list condition here. So what this code does is, I have the list 
and now I am able to add at begin is equal to step is equal to one and end is equal to five. So what it does is goes and take this list. And here I have mentioned as item path dot html and item title. So that is the reason you are able to see both the path and title. So it starts with the two. You can see that second item is human. Then step is equal to one. So each item is getting iterated and end is five. So it goes to the products and print. So this is the way we control the list items now. So see, I am mentioning step as two. You can see that it went to second item. Since I mentioned begin as two and step is now two. So instead of going to the equipment, it goes to the about us and stop the iteration of our products. Say, if I modify the end is equal to something seven, you can see that the next guy has added here. Let me modify to begin is equal to one. Step one. Now you can see that all the values are getting printed except the experience because the array index I have mentioned is one. Let me add zero. You can see that all the list items are getting printed here. The next addition was data slide unwrap with identifier. So I have just added the code for that. So in this, uh, I'm checking the data slide unwrap is unwrapped with a condition d in logic my object so you can see that my object is here i don't have a value called d for the key this gets false you will be able to see the d here just print the text so when i make it to a existing value say a You can see that now the text span is unwrapped. This is the difference. When I make it false, just prints the text. And when I make it a true condition, the entire line is getting printed. So this is the way we test out some of the HTL things and we discussed here the HTL improvements which can be tried out in AEM 6.5. We have also the negative numbers. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.